Hey TAC fans, AJ here. In this video I'm going to cover the Weather Report plugin. Plugins are additional applications that plug into ATAC that bring extra functionality. For those not familiar with TAC or the Team Awareness Kit, it's a free program from the US government. And ATAC, or the Android Team Awareness Kit, is available from TAC.gov or the Google Play Store. So let's open up this plugin and see what's inside. On the left, we have weather images. I've opened up a few of them as an example. Here's a 12 hour forecast, precip forecast, and surface level winds. Now let's move over to the overlays. Overlays directly overlay weather data right onto the map. Before we do that, let's look at some of the layers we already have in ATAC. We have a number of geospatial layers in ATAC now, including AVL from the BLM. So here's the Midnight Sun hotshots and the Veil hotshots working near the Oregon and Idaho border. We have public safety aircraft. Here's the CAL FIRE S-70 Firehawk helicopter working on the Mosquito Fire, as well as an El Dorado National Forest Engine 333 TAC user. So now let's open up some of these overlays. Hurricane K impacted the state of California three days prior. And we have a lot of moisture over the state. I'm interested in seeing where some of the flash flood alerts are. So let's open up alerts. These show all of the alerts from the National Weather Service. I'm going to scroll down to flash flood warnings and turn on that layer. You can see up here I've got a polygon in northern LA County where it borders Kern County. I'll click on that polygon to get more information about it. I can see when it was issued and when it expires and all the extra information in it. I'm going to close this out. Now I'm going to go move to my weather overlays. I want to turn on the 15 minute lightning density and I can see that I've got a cell just west of Tehachapi moving towards Bakersfield and I have the ability to change the opacity with this slider. I'm going to turn that off and next I'm going to turn on my next rad radar. I have that same ability to affect the opacity with this slider. Let's leave it there and let's move up to the Mosquito Fire west of Lake Tahoe. Here I have the ops map and I have that layer of aviation aircraft. Here is the CAL FIRE S-70 Firehawk and that El Dorado National Forest TAC user. What I love about weather data in ATAC, specifically this radar, is I can see weather as it moved towards me and I can see the operational boundaries in the incident. So if I f see weather moving toward a specific uh, division or branch, we can directly warn them. In this example, El Dorado National Forest Engine 333 is in Division Yankee Yankee in Branch 25. I hope this was helpful in showing off some of the capability in the Weather Report plugin. I think there's a lot more we could do. I'd love to see a direct integration with the National Weather Service to bring in a lot more of the fire products, such as wind bar vectors and a ROS weather station data layer. Additionally, I see the functionality of TAC users being able to drop a geospatial marker in ATAC, add weather data to it, share it back through the TAC server, and an incident meteorologist and other TAC users on the incident being able to see live weather data. Additionally, Kestrel has a plugin for ATAC that was made for ballistics and I believe that we'd be able to change that base function of that plugin and port in fire weather data. Again, I hope this was beneficial and thanks for watching.